Hello everyone, welcome back to Fableheim and Age of Wonders. Oh, the demon lord Blint is reveling in his victory against both Nefarian, the lord of Blackrock Mountain, and Nerima, the warrior queen of Syuna. And today is really the scramble for the remaining three cities that have been birthed by their defeats. So in the north, we of course have these three out and about. And down here, well, we're going to snatch up all that we can. We also have a little free a free boy down here. But before that, there is a talent I probably should have gotten some time ago. And that, of course, is Benevolent Conquerors. Vassals gain plus one allegiance level when first vassalized. Converting conquered cities into vassals takes minus one turn. Let's pop it. Of course, we are not benevolent. This is in effect because they have no choice. Submit. Or die. Oh my. Turnil has come out against our stack up in the north. How dare you. Oh well. Coming in for round two. That was a war party actually. So technically they didn't do that. They're coming in for this though. And I mean why not. Let's just give them the bat. It should be easy. Yep okay. And, you know, since we're here, let's go smack him. Now, the real question is, do I besiege this place or do I take it? Hmm. What shall we do? I think this place is being raised. Excuse me. <laughs> besiege or take it. I mean, do we vassalize it or do we raise it? This Baylor perished, unfortunately. We'll have to fix that right up. I think we just raised this one. It's kind of in the way. Although, it could be a promising city. Hmm. It feels in the way. It's congested here. I think we raised this to the ground, Tim. We could. Is it even worth it? Reign of destruction? I don't think so. Spoils could be okay? I don't know. That's 300 Imperium. Or it doesn't really feel worth. But while we were in the intern phase, that of course I edited out, you'd think it's it gotten shorter now that there are three players out, but it hasn't. Look what I spotted. Look what I have found. That means this city is ours now. Yep, it's mine. We're gonna go get it. So, um, let's take a hop and a skip. Back underground, where we, of course, belong. So, Blint, this Baylor. And we have a pretty nice stack here. Not too shabby. Should have made some roads. That would have been nice. How could I forget the road gore? Perish the thought. Hi. You're, um, a lot. Don't mind me. Just, um... Uh, squeezing on by. That's what I'm doing. This is a stack. Why is a stack here? Ah, yes, of course. How could I forget? This stack is going to go deal with problems that we currently possess. This stack is going to watch over Priovec because... You know, the dark gods forbid something just swoops in and takes it over. This stack is heading to Slaneth Hold over here to deal with this. So you're teleporting in. You will unite to create a glorious six stack of doom, as all six stacks should be. And you will uh, go from there. This place is going to become our mages guild, right? That was the plan. Do I need a Mage's Guild? <laughs> I have 600 mana income. I feel like I don't. I could make another Research Guild, though. That is a possibility. Hmm, yeah, that's the play. That's what we're doing. More. More. I guess this is why I was thinking about it. But that's fine. Who cares? Why do you want an action? You're moving in. The boats. Wow, look at jewels. 
Jules is excited about something. Killing me, probably. But, um, you know, I'm not here to facilitate his dreams, his desires. What are you doing? Got in my capital, of course. We can now summon entwined protectors, which opens up another tome for us to research. The question is, what shall we research? There are some fantastic options. I feel like the Astral Trade really could go a long way to helping us with gold, which we're kind of hurting with right now. And quick base is always fun. That could be enjoyable. Or... Or... I don't know if we want the Tome of Artificing, actually. So here's what I think we do. Either we go Amp Tome for Amp Arrows, because, well, they're amazing. And we have a lot of archers. And it affects skirmisher units. Amp arrows it is. One of the more fascinating aspects of the arcane is that it can be turned back on itself, augmenting and amplifying its own essence. Any wizard can cast a spell, but a true master seeks to perfect it and elevate themselves and their magic beyond what mere practitioners think possible. Indeed, and with the blessings of Zinch, well, there's really nothing that is impossible. So, um, yeah, this isn't great. I mean, Astral Blood's all cool, and we will take this. However, first, let's get this Bind Golden Ancient Wonder. This has been here for a while. This is part of the new Age of Magic Victory Condition, which I will attempt to initiate. Uh, we'll see if we can. Target owned and annex Golden Wonder becomes bound. While bound, it grants plus 50 knowledge. Uh, so right now, we can get a bonus of plus 100, which would be pretty good. A number of bound Golden Wonders are required for Magic Victory. For this playthrough, it is 5. This spell is cancelled if the bound Ancient Wonder is occupied or changes ownership. I have heard... I also get access to... Is it this one? Oh, sweet... Sweet casting points. Give it to me. Give it to me everywhere. I've heard that the AI, like once you build this, the AI takes that as a personal challenge to their authority. So brace yourselves. That's where I'm going with this. You are currently busy. I mean, I want you to have this as well. It's only going to take two turns. What's the worst that could happen? Speed that up. That leaves Nurgleth's embrace. Grand of the Nurgle. And this place, of course. Which still has a lot of things it needs to build. What's on a gold vein? This one will do. Oh, actually, I don't want to override foresters if I can help it. Hmm. But I want that to be a gold vein. Maybe we wait. Because I can annex like a random ass farm or something. That's what we'll do. Okay. And where is Nurgleth's embrace? This place is busy. Speaking of places that have things they need to be doing. How's this Dark Forge? Hmm. I mean, I do need gold, and draft is always good. Could just plop it on this production node. All right, sure, that's what we'll do. Casting points are very important. I guess that raises the Tome of Amp... I mean, the Tome of Amplication was good already, but now it's like... Mm. We can also grab the Desecrate Temple. Beautiful. Beautiful. This place is a conduit that adds 5 Imperium, of course, 25 mana, 2 knowledge per research city in research post within the city domain. So we want more research. That's essentially where we're going with this. Um, I'd have to annex this. Can I just burn this down? I can't. So eventually, I think I can just break this. For good stuff. I will also remove the upkeep from that teleporter. Ooh, hello. Severe Shamal. Are we really getting triple summoning on you? Are we triple summoning an archer? 
Oh, okay, fine. You do what you gotta do. Strength training, please don't thank you. The remains of Harm Knight Beta has been recovered. You have trash. Also, um, look at our income. <laughs> From the corpses of our foes, we are reaping in 462 mana and 66 knowledge per turn. A free city of Brisway has declared war upon me. This one. Okay. Fair enough. We can now integrate. Oh, hi. Okay, this isn't this isn't that bad, Morgan. Can you calm down? Also, I wanted to. Oh, game. Calm down. I wanted to make some scouts here. We'll do three, because N Narima. I almost called her Namira. Narima was one of the major reasons I could not explore this way. So, of course, now there is an opposing vassal here. But, um... We'll see if that has changed. Is there any spell I need to cast right now? Not particularly, no. Nope. I could put this Entwine Protector in the pocket. They're okay. They're not great. How's my... How's this looking? I don't like Entwine Scourge. Even if I'm doing a playthrough focused on Battle Mages, I don't like the Entwine Scourge. Which should say a lot about them. Or me. I'm not sure which, really. I do kind of want to corrupt soul, though. They're pretty fun. I'll just take one. Sure. All right. On to the next turn. Duchess Lucia Stewart of the Free City Brisway greets you with hostility. We Kingdom of Syuna of Brisway will fight for our freedom and stand against any who threaten our free city, even when they are led by a first demon lord like you. The blood of invaders, thieves, and spies nourish the fields. Didn't we already know we were at war with them? This isn't a surprise or anything. Anywho. Aha, there she be. Time for war then. Unfortunately. I cannot go any further. I have run out of movement points. Um. Okay, that's fine. You guys chill there. Our first of many scouts have been birthed. Hopefully we can find something somewhere. We'll see. This Baylor can rejoin their stack. One turn until Turnil is ready for the taking. Unfortunately. Oh. Huh. This outpost was besieged. And then Morgan just left? Hmm. Curious. Well, let's go stand on it anyway. Because its walls are broken and I can't repair it, so. See what we can see. As for this little puppers, there is no more diggy diggy in the immediate vicinity. So we just take a walk. Build the road. And keep on keeping on. Ah, the diggy diggy. You, my fair fellowed friend, way down here. You're also going to build a road now. So we have two monster dens that are like a problem. Although I don't know where the other one went. Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. Jules is coming. Zwiggity Zwoody, is he here? Well, I have some bad news for you, Jules. Um, I have more movement. <laughs> so, you know, you can do whatever you want. But you never catch me. You'll never catch me alive! Unfortunately, I can't go down here. I can, actually. I'll take that back, I just have to do it specially, like this. Aha! Wait, can I diggy diggy this while I'm stuck on here? I can. Nice. Although the question is, should I do it? 
sometimes the AI has a bad habit of like, the AI doesn't know how to diggy diggy. So if they're surrounded by excavation sites, they won't do it. And instead they'll expand up north. But that means if you suddenly open up a diggy diggy path and they can expand that direction, they will instantly grab it, uh, which is not always a great idea. But I think that's a tunnel, so they can't do it anyway. The Underdark Altar is hitting defenses. We have acquired an Astral Dew. A city was released as a vassal. Good old Gloomhearth. They are a tributary, so I'm not sure if they were affected by the Benevolent Conquerors. I probably should have cancelled it and then reacquired it, but that's okay. It is what it is. Now, these guys are out of a turn, out of a job. My domain's been invaded. Yeah, where'd they go? They're just gone. Did someone bonk them? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Let's go over here. Let us march to Nurgleth's embrace. Looks like you're going to have to start getting some more defenses. Um... I mean, my money is not good. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It don't exist. There is a way I can fix that. So if I cancel this, right? If we leave this as the Mage Guild idea, and then I get the Tome of Transmutation, and we transmute resources. Oh, that could be the play. Do I do that? I mean, we're we're really far away from transmutation, so we'll we'll leave it as is for now. And if I change my mind, so be it. What happens? All right, let us end the turn again. Day one hundred, my friends. We are officially halfway through the series. Remember, score victory is still turned on, but it ends at turn two hundred. The longest possible turn victory. Score victory. I've already claimed a score victory with um, good old Olaway. So I don't feel the need to do it again. But it's there just in case this drags on a little too long. I wasn't quite sure how this was all going to pan out. So, you know, there's always a plan B. Always a good old plan B. Blinty bye. Cool. Um... Do I have that thingy where I pillage and do stuff? I don't. However, I'm going to need this. All right, fine. Whatever. I don't care. This city is going to be ours, ours, so. Can you reach? Not quite. Unfortunate. So what we'll do is we'll just get some doggos in position to, to diggy diggy. A mana node has been found, indeed. Oh, I can use... Wait, can I? Can I use my vassal's teleporter? I can. Great. This is going to take four turns for them to besiege. Um, thankfully, I have a stack of doom. I'm going to fuck you up. They'll never know what hit them. Oh, hi. Are you building a... You are. All right. That's fair. Unfortunate, but fair. You. My gold is still short. Are finding your way over here. Let us sail. So Morgan is the only character to have a bound wonder so far, and she only has one. Assuming it shows... You know, all. <laughs> I think I'm just going to lead Jules on a mega goose chase. You can chase me all you want, Jules. And that leaves you. Uh, do I dare try and explore from the south? Not really. That's where Morgan is. And Smog's over here as well. You're opening a city as well. Okay. Okay. 
Nergleth's embrace has been besieged. Yeah, that happened. I think I need a fanatical workforce a few places. Hmm. There you go. A whispering stone has returned because Eros has been besieged. Okay. Is that Morgan herself? It is. Hmm. It is a problem if this falls. But I also don't feel like they have enough here. A breach has been made. This should be an easy auto. No if, ands, or buts about that one. What's going on down here? Not a whole lot. I don't think. No. I think we just raised the city team. I don't think I need this here in my life. Enjoy your soul well. You should probably repair that eventually. Okay. Well, we have two options with this triple stackaroo. Option one is to bring it back. I think that's what's going to happen. I mean, we know Jules is over here, right? Like, Jules is chasing us down. So what if we try and pull a sneaky... And nab this city. I feel like this is a recipe for disaster. But it could also be funny. Could be. Spell amp. Tactical spells deal plus 20% damage. Do I use tactical spells? Not really. Not particularly. Hmm. Mr. Shamal, what um, what what are we doing here? Deals damage to units in a three hex cone. Oh, this is reworked. All right, sure, I'll take it. It's reworked. Why not? The remains of Azul Knight Better have been collected, and they too are trash, adding to our income. What an exciting turn. Um. I do kind of want to put this guy in. Oh, you don't have a spell jammer here. Alright. That's fine. That'll do. Well, okay. Remember when I said this could be a silly idea? This is why. Alright, Jules. Well, I have, um... Something to tell you, Jules. There is a reason... Why your AI compatriots, including your now-deceased queen, always build spelljammers. Oh, it takes Blint's actual HP. Interesting. It's good to know. I mean, he's like unkillable. Because, <laughs> you know, if he dies, he just comes back. But it's good to know. Everyone else come have a walk. Do you think that if the, the Inferno puppies become wet... They die like Charmander does. I don't know why these Crypt Souls are getting my racial benefits, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> they shouldn't be. Unless... Ooh, hold on. No, there's no way, right? So the, the Crypt Souls are kind of... No, there's no way. 
in the previous patch, in the, the Watcher update, wait, no, this isn't the Watcher update. In the patch that came with Dragon Dawn, the Wyvern update, there we go, the Corruptors were added to the summoning pool of the Tome of Necromancy. Or from the Tome of Necromancy. And I was wondering, is this Corrupt Soul and that Corrupt Soul the same? Meaning that if we picked up the Tome of Necromancy, we could summon Corrupt Souls that had my racial transformations. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. The Anthem of Victory. That is obscenely good. Remember, the reason why it's so powerful it's not just because it's a good spell to begin with, which it is, make no mistake. It is obscenely potent. I can't say I understand how this is being determined. That's okay. Almost, but they're slowed. You know what that means? Slowed units, can't retaliate. Um, it's so potent because we have the brand new Order Amplifier Lens, which is giving fortune to everything. Now, of course, that was probably possible with the the heart. But I never used the heart, so you can't really blame me for not thinking like that. Soon, we will have even greater power. Um, I could just run it down and do the thing. That's a thing I could do. It's not a smart thing, but it's a thing. Death. It is the inescapable end that awaits all mortals. Especially the sanctimonious idiots who presume to use me. Always a good time. So, Plenty Boy, can you get the skill? You sure can. Oh, Flint, you're so good. So attractive. Well, oh, okay. Congratulations, team. We did it. We won. And it was all thanks to Blintz. Oh. Really? Not a single connection. Hmm. Okay. We'll just get in position for next turn. You, what are you going to do? You should also get in position for next turn. Or... Yeah, sure. Couldn't move the Warlock into that. Who cares about the Warlock, you know? I don't care about the Warlock. Bonk. Okay. And then we have... Oh, that was it. Alright, so the turn. Let us see the consequences of our actions. My actions. I'm sure there'll be nothing all too terrific. Oh no, my summoned puppy was defeated only to withstand thanks to the Keeper's map. And that guy missed. Sucks to suck, bro. I mean, I've been there. I know how it feels. And that guy could only attack a steadfasted unit. I know how that feels, too. Giddy to death. Death is how you fix that. Anyway... Demonic Onslaught. This is where the fun begins. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say we're uh, having a good time. Having a great time. You want to go here? One. Ah, two. 
Uh, sometimes I just feel overwhelming power. This is Zafoth Shamal. That's your new frost evocation. You can get a refresh. All right. One, two. Let us refresh Ayu. One, two. And of course, with momentum, we march ever forward. And then you can do your thing, I don't care. Or, you go here. That's pretty fun. It's one space more than I thought, so if I go here... There we go. Boop. <laughs> when do they're slow so they can't retaliate? That is so busted. That is so good. And now the puppers om nums. Who could have guessed? Giving everything killing a mention was probably not a great idea. For them. It's a great idea for me. And now they waver and break. Their spirits shattered. Their minds broken. Can't do that. Yep. Time to clean it up. I told you, Jules. It was a terrible idea. To not build spelljammers. This is insane. We summon the Avatar for Blintz. Then we Anthem of Victory for Strength, Morale, and... And fortune. All in the same go. And then... I was hoping for the kingdom there. And then we give Demonic Onslaught so we can just run over everything. Should have done this first. First one of the episode. And it just works out. Misclick, but I can undo. I cannot undo because I'm tied up. That's fine. It doesn't matter. We've won. And no, I'm not going to permit them to flee. There is no escape. Okay. What's left? Oh, I have no more actions. Oh, I have a Baylor. I have an army. We have a Baylor. Um. Okay. They're probably going to get away. They're going over summons. Or not. Hello! Can't help but notice, but you're standing next to a Baylor. Yeah, sucks to suck. Unfortunately, I don't think Zavoth. Nope. Please go back. Can uh, get a kill here. I mean, he got a kill, obviously, but I don't think he can get another kill. Nah. Do I have to let them flee? Of course not. Blintz on the case. This is more annoying. This is an Awakener. A tier 3 unit. It's a pretty good AoE, actually. The Awakeners are pretty impressive. The only problem was I was playing an Archer playthrough. You know? You know how that goes, right? I think I have to let them go now. Maybe? If I can get a shot. I severely underestimated the power of Marked. Like, I thought it was just going to be a counteraction to the very rare evasions that are in the game. But nope. Unfortunately, I believe we must let them go. They flee. Unless Blint says no. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you have anything left? Not really. I'll take 245s, why not? Nailed it! They were not permitted to flee. I was mistaken. Look at all those resources. First it was Narima, who would not permit me to scout. Now it is Jules. A tyrant knight. His shining armor confronts you. Today, my blade will end you, infernal scum. 
This is the oath I took before the Paladins of the Steel Atonement to find and dispatch the emerging Chaos Master that wreaks havoc upon this realm. It is to be my final test after leaving behind a life of sin and depravity. That fiend I am no longer. The Tyrant Knight draws his blade with a quivering hand and a lingering doubt in his eyes. How to deal with him? Hmm. I see a bug. <laughs> this chaos boon grants me zero city stability. All right. Ah, but the chaos crisis takes away stability. See? So, we could corrupt him with a 690 gold, or for six turns, I can lose knowledge. That is unacceptable. While it would be fun to corrupt him, I don't care. How dare you point your blade at the demon lord? Immolate this fool. I have plenty of mana. It was a matter of practicality and role-playing simultaneously. And isn't that the moment that we live for? All right, Blunt, where are you? This is 100 siege strength. Alrighty. Break the battlements. I mean, I can... Where is it? Can I not have long assault? Great. Hmm. There's just no headlong. Okay, fine, whatever. Undermine the walls, and I don't care. Sabotage support, it costs less money. Four turns. I think this guy's outside the circle? Yeah. There you go. Brick. Good news, these guys are already part of my culture, so... Alright, so this place can be excavated, that can be excavated. We'll just begin the exploration. Put the puppers together. Alrighty. It looks like I may or may not get a chance to explore. We'll see. You are marching somewhere. Looks like they left Nergleth's embrace. Not sure why. But I mean, if you want to. You almost killed my warbraid. Pharos has resumed operations. You can take the stone. They're only eight turns away from a Supreme Vassal. I've been working hard to get them on my side. Hard and long. Da da da. Yeah, we have the natural cover. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need right now. We're waiting for expanded governance because I need to I need to absorb that city undergrounds. It must be mine. Coming this way. You have cleared out Immediate threats. Morgan is left. Well done. Um. I mean. Okay. Sure. We'll sit here for a turn or two. Why not? You can finally reunite. The city is being raised, and no one can stop it. You're going this way. To explore, there's an outpost. We'll just bonk this real quick. Get rid of all of Jewel's reinforcements. And can you reach the city? You can. Begin. Another siege. You can't headlong... What happened to headlong assault? Is it gone? Break the battlements. I need tremor rituals so bad. Uh, I need it. All right, well we have a pupper. 
I guess we're gonna go join the other puppers. Wait, you built... Oh, you built a watchtower there. I'm like, why is there now a watch post inside of your stupid outpost? Hello. Punk. He's a game, he's a life. The wild goose chase continues, although I don't know where they went. So they might be going back, which could be concerning, but in the meantime... We have places to be. Ooh, we have been cut off by lands. That could be a problem if this is a little... Inlet? Is that what it's called? I don't know why he moved. Bind Golden Ancient Wonder has been researched. Oh, there's the Age of Chaos. So, while channeling the Age of Chaos to reach magic victory, the Chaos of Infinity spells cost 20% less mana, World map casting points and combat casting points. Each turn in combat, a random enemy unit sustains 3 damage of a random type and has a base 90% chance of receiving a random negative status effect. Great. Salvation? For the lulls? Nurglets embrace. You're, uh... There's no repairing going on here. It's fine. Get the mints. I'll do. Aceberry's acquired Sirenus has leveled up. Unfortunately, I still haven't acquired like any items I want to use. Uh, we'll go with endurance. Someone asked why I don't sell things, and um, I responded, of course. But for clarification, if you're curious, you can go over to this tab and you can sell any of your equipment. Typically, I don't do this in normal playthroughs because this is very inefficient, very gold inefficient. It's, of course, based on the tier of the item. So tier 1 is 14, tier 2 is 28, tier 3 is like 40 something, tier 4 is 112. But typically, you get so much more value for selling it to the AI. Of course, in this playthrough, you know, Teams has prevented any diplomacy. Morgan fell to Pharos. Well done. Well done, Elamir. My loyal surf, surf. We have captured Sereth Nightcrawler. Yeah, see, we don't do that here. We don't do that here. Break the remains of Rala the Defender. Now you have some... Some good shit. Unfortunately, I don't have another melee character. Hmm. So the tier 3 mount and the breastplate of the champion is the only good thing you have. You can get so many breastplates of the champion. Like, I think you're only really supposed to be able to have one of them. But because the AI just, like, randomly generates tier 4 stuff on this difficulty. You know. Just make your own thing. Negotiations have succeeded a bondal va bonded vassal. Neil Zaldum is quickly entering the fold. Love to see him. You love to see him. If I can trade mana for gold, that wouldn't be bad. Like this. Yeah. That'll do. Dal Mastur has into war party. Good luck. I am besieging you. Crosswalls is a war party. Komurudom has released a war party. And a city has become a vassal, which I tried to click on. But there were too many things to click on. Who are you? Of course. Who else could it be but Nefarian's little peoples? I wish this was reversed. How about you? A hundred and fifty mana for forty-eight and you're out of your mind. Out of your bloody mind, I'll take that. It's not a great trade, but it is a trade. I need gold. There we go, that's helping our income. I checked this a long time ago, of course, but I'll take the food as well. There we go. Beautiful. Using our vassals. How close are we to getting a stone back? 
Theros is eight turns. You are probably like 12 turns. 12-ish turns. Oof. Is there a cheap boost I can do? Nope. All right. Boosting's not really worth it, but, you know, I need more stones. Jules Dargon has bound a golden wonder. Jules, thank you for telling me where my fifth golden wonder was. That was so kind of you. Fortunately, we have run out of excavation here, so it's... Well, you're standing on that. Time to leave. Oh, oh. I am surprisingly close to that. Okay. Where is this? The city of Casterlin. Well. 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 Thanks, Jules. That was surprisingly kind of you. You are going to diggy diggy. I don't want you to grab this. I want to use your population as I see fit. But, I mean, I guess I can keep you here. You are heading to Nergleth's Embrace. I guess you can grab this. I think I lost it. I don't actually know. Hello. I am stuck between a rock and a hard place. Good news, I might live? Maybe not. Probably not. Unfortunately, you cannot occupy this outpost. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Crosshall. You are insolent. Oh, dear. That's a knight. Hmm. Think two puppers can beat a knight. Perverse in a zealot? Maybe? Possibly? Considerably? So this city is in the way, huh? You could also be stand to be broken. I'm trying to hide. I need to explore. There's someone out there for me. We still haven't found the ninth player. But I can confirm they're alive. At least they've been taking turns, so I'm assuming they're alive. Like I have this random defense force just hanging out. You are trying. There we go. Stack is guarding. It is time to take out this small monster den once and for all. I might have to fight this myself. I do not. The war breed lives by the skin of its teeth. There is no diggy diggy. Where was that other... Oh, there it was. Alright. Who are you? Could this be... Jules. Alright. Yep. It's time to fight! This might be a big fight. Ooh, I think I have to fight this. I think I have to fight this team. This army is not really going to be able to replenish itself, so it has to go. I'm assuming... Yeah, I can't call forth my avatar. So, the anthem of victory. You are someone who should have done this first. Please don't break. Cool. Move up a little bit. To reinforce... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I mentioned this in a previous naval battle, but um, the advantage of the boats is they are not embarked, which imposes a penalty. However, I believe in this game, the penalty is... What is this? Are you guys in the water? Oh, there you go. Um, in this game, the penalty is 10% less damage, I think. In the previous title, Age of Wonders 3, the penalty was a lot heavier. 
And I believe there's a mod that, oh, wow, we got the cancel. Um, that, like, returns the penalty to its relatively more extreme measures. There are three defenses here. And I hit the wrong one. Two shots. Okay. That's not great. That damage leaves a lot to be desired. Just so you know, team. These are tier 4 units, so I mean... You'd have a modicum of respect for them. I don't know what this is. I can't see it. It's invisible. But I will charge it. I think I can kill this thing? Maybe? Possibly? Some sheer dumb luck. There we go. Was that worth it? I don't know. There's Mass Condemn. Rally. The Warlock thing. Big Smacks. Are these Phantasms? Mind control? Resisted. Well done. Well done. Okay, there goes one boat. Which, of course, didn't actually go. It just... Do I just... Okay, sure. The Anthem of Victory. It procked its Keeper's Mark. You know. One, two. Oh, these are Dark Warriors. Okay. I probably should have popped... Um, Demonic Onslaught here. That's okay. Yeah, they can't do anything. What are you up to? Can you hit a shot here? That's pretty good. I'll take that. Oh yeah, fat damage. Well done. Probably should have moved that guy about. Yeah, the spirit resist here is killing me from these guys, but that's okay. Because I can kill him. I don't know what's happening to the sound effects, but, uh, it's fine. Good. Crit them. Live none. Alive. Alright. I have one warship. Almost. Okay. This guy might be dead, but other than that, I think we did okay. Or not. There we go. <laughs> it might be dead. Or Keeper's Mark is OP. Not sure which. I wasn't sure which, but now I am. That is no fleeing. Okay. Ooh, this might be the death of me, though. This might be it. What does teleport do? Never cast that spell, did I? This might be the end. We'll see. I might have bit off more than I can chew. I do also think this is a dead end. Where are we? Yeah, this is an inlet. Oh, uh, that's not good. I think the water progresses here. A shame. Sloneth holds. Mint. I need gold. The underdark altar is chillin'. Big chillin'. I mean, I could plop down this here. Because it's next to a quarry and a mine. I could. Could put down the tithe collector. In ten turns, it would make 
the gold that I spent on it. Kilval the Steady. This is our brave champion. Currently leading the efforts against the... Yeah, there you go. The monster dens that dare send random crap at me. New Empire skill is available. It is this one. Your vassals grant 10% more resources in tribute. This will be very helpful. In time. Negotiations have succeeded. Choke points. This was Narima's capital city. Is now a vassal. So that's that. Let's begin casting to bind the golden wonders. We'll see if this turns on the AI aggression. Someone told me that it does. So I'll be interested to see what happens. Next turn, of course. Ah, my poor scouts being picked off still by Morgan. Morgan has bound yet another. Oh, really? This should be illegal. Yet another golden wonder. Where is it? Oh, I see. She has two world trees, just like me. Just like me. What the fuck happened here? Huh. Well, I would say Jules is keen on keeping this. You know what the ironic bit is? Because there's no spell jammer here, I kind of think I can take this. The AI even thinks this is a safe battle. I don't know why. What did you do or not do? You killed the pupper. That's a lot. But I got one back. Okay, before I get too crazy here, we learn Salvation. Fantastic. And we can learn so much more. I guess I'll just grab Demonic Summoning. I don't want Friends being Focus. Again, Battle Mage is not a part of our not a part of our scheme here. I was. I cannot. The reason I was okay with that was I was gonna summon another plant boy, but I can actually do that. I would like to attack. This unit. Oh dear. You. Him. Ah, they're within the city domain. That's right. I mean, I could just wait until they attack me. Then I have no choice but to defend repeatedly. Um, although... Come in here. There we go. We go over here. Good. Good. Let us draw them in. Break of them. Okay. So the reason why I'm drawing this in, of course, is because there are two shrines of smiting. Which is terrifying. Where's my boy? Bring forth the avatar of chaos. If I had plopped him a little further forward, I could have opened up with this, and that would have been sick. But, as it stands, we'll open up with this instead. And it'll be decently sick. Everyone else, let's get to work. Um, you just sit there. Do 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 ba da ba da ba da da ba. Summons OP. You know what the funny thing is? They nerfed summons. And they're still OP. You can win scenarios you would... 100% supposed to lose. With enough summons. To be fair, it's... It's always that rare, right? It's just action economy at work. Alright. Even if you could summon just like a legion of level 1 stuff... Just eventually, as it nibbles on things, ooh, a quad quintuple freeze. Not bad. Uh, as it nibbles on stuff and it takes attacks away from enemies, it's perfect. I think the best, hmm, 
What would be the best way to to fix this? Fixing quotations. I think a a strong suggestion would be I could mass condemn. Nah, nah, nah. Anthem of victory. A good start would be to make it so that the the AI didn't really like focus them at all. 50-50? This guy's already frozen. Here you go. Wow, okay, that didn't do anything. I don't know what you thought you were doing. You only have 60 hit points? Bruh. Why? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I knew something was wrong. Ah, uh, sure. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I think a good action would be to make it so the AI just ignored them entirely. Like, it didn't even think or look at the summons. Like, sure, let the summons keep hitting people, but don't let the AI act upon that. Can I kill you? I sure can. Duh. It is... The inescapable end that awaits all mortals. I can't believe that works. <laughs> uh, you know, there are a lot of things in life that bring me joy, but that working so consistently. Oh, it kind of depends on the day, though, right? Like, sometimes it works. 100% of the time, and sometimes it works 100% of the time, 20% of the time. You know what I mean? It's one of those abilities. Hello. My name is Severe, and I have Sniper, because that's fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. Do, 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 ba, do, ba, da, 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 Stun. Oh, not quite. Do, 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 da, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, 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 da, ba, Stun. Nailed it. See, I told, I knew the song was going to work eventually. <laughs> You're slowed. You know what that means, right? No retali. Well, that guy's stunned. This guy's slowed. Who's left? Who's left? No, that's what I thought. Alright, Blint needs to get on these guys. Or the avatar of Blint. Boop. Yes. Hit the pups. What could they do? See? Oh no! This is gone stupendously well. Um, I almost crashed. The game was about to be like, bet? <laughs> That's a word I don't use very often. I'm not sure if it's quite as bad as Riz. Of course, that thing I said in Baldur's Gate 3 recently-ish. That I said I would never say again. And of course I just did. But I was proving a point. Oh. I was like, did I just get Pack Hunter with myself? No, no, no. I got Pack Hunter with that guy. Of course. That's how that works. I am not particularly interested in summoning lightning everywhere, so I won't. Oop. As a flame burst weapon as well. Well done. Let us sunder. Our biggest threat right now is these two, right? The shrines of smiting at any time can just go, hmm. I don't like you. And win. Or, you know, kill something. Uh, so I would like my. I'd like to do my utmost to prevent that.
But sometimes you gotta shoot these things too. They are not permitted to leave. No one said they could. Also, uh, the sprint that we have on the Inquisitors is coming from their legend status, which is a curious upgrade, but it's fine. I'll take it. A surprise to be sure, but a pleasant one. That didn't sound very Palpatine-y. I haven't watched the prequels in so long. What does it even sound like? I don't know. Wow. Well, I know what I need to do soon. Do you have teleport? You're not the one teleport. You do have a refresh, though. That's fun. Who are you refreshing? You? You. Yes. Good. Good. I'll do. Oh, no attack from Blintz. That's fine, I'll let him finish it off. Boop. The Avatar of Chaos. That ability is so good. Alright, now you need to back up. And you need to get out of here, because you're in the way. I don't particularly care where you go, just away. Ooh. Hmm. This has complicated matters tremendously. I wonder if you can solo this. You can, wow. Probably dead now, but hey. You serve the Dark Gods well in your temporary existence. I could diggy diggy for my vassal. Should I do that? Sure. Hey, vassal. Excuse me? There we go. You go here. Look at me being a helpful ruler. That's concerning. No! <laughs> I just want vision. I just want to find the wild card. <sighs> the game won't let me. I will never know. I will never see who they are. I mean, I know. You will never know who they are. I'm keeping it a secret. I hope one day it'll be worth the the long time secret kept. It'll be worth it. Are you really in the way? No, okay. Actually, I think it is in the way. That's fine. It'll be worth the waiting. You will know who it is. And then you'll be like, ah, yeah. That makes sense. I wasn't attacked here, which is surprising. Um, but it looks like I'm about to be. So... Go away. This is a vassal, so can't say particularly care about it. Oh, hey, this isn't an inlet. I can actually go this way, but we'll see if I can make it. Zenith Anchorage. Annex. And it Annex shall... Annex. I could finally absorb this, actually. How you doing? The corrupt soul is in. It unfortunately does not have all of our thingamaboobers. Unfortunately. I don't think you need to make anything. Okay, good. Carneth Rise can annex once again, and it shall. It too. She'll have a fishery. Can I build the thing yet? I can. Nice. We'll finish off the monument. We'll get the next tier, and then we can go into the Seafarer's Guild. Or I could go straight into the Seafarer's Guild. To get the production. To then build that faster. Bind Golden Wonder is ready. My friends, let us bind the world tree to our will. There he is! Interesting. So this is the ninth and final player, the wild card, the only other character not in a team. 
However, it looks like we're automatically at war. Which is weird. This is the Changeling. Now, of course, the Changeling is Zinch's greatest troll. And he is in control of the Skaven Cult of Change. Who appear to have some transformations already. They have quick, re re quick reflexes, which is annoying. Why did I give that to them? And overwhelmed tactics, which was slightly nerfed, but... They are a mystic culture, gifted casters, and adept settlers. I believe you are the only mystic culture on the map. So, we discovered him, I guess, because I bound a golden wonder. He is an erudite sage. Yep, that's kind of accurate. <laughs> I mean, not... I don't know about the peaceful thing, but... You know. Erudition, sure. Now, as mentioned, he's not in a team. Meaning... It should be possible for me to conduct diplomacy. However, it does not appear to be so. Hmm. Or oh, number two in strength. Who's number one? Is it Jules? He's pretty thick. It is Jules. Wow, okay. Number one in expansion, number one in magic, number two in economy. Am I number one? No. I just have the greatest military ranking. Which is weird, right? Because the new, the way the AI calculates its armies now is it tries, emphasis on tries, to have 100% more military power than the player. The very hard AI, which is what we're up against. So I'm kind of surprised my military ranking is number one. Although I have killed three other players, so maybe that's contributing to it. My economy, though, is not that... Is that Smaug? Where's Smaug? Are you one? Of course you are. Shocker. Who is surprised? Not even me. Well, the Changeling is here. Uh, it's very difficult to create the Changeling, so I just gave him the Astro body with the Shattered Helm face. The Changeling, as mentioned... The greatest troll of Zinch. The great trickster. And uh, he can transform into any other person. Ooh, a cosmic orb and a face cloak. You could be worth selling. Polymorph, fire breath, mass healing. You're probably worth selling. Ooh. You are 112% worth selling. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to do it, team. It hurts our economy a little bit. But we have Sebastian Miller to thanks for recovering that because we don't we don't do prisoners. No. Alright. On turn 103, we continue onward to the siege. And I'm going to cast Bind Golden Wonder again because of course we have a second one. Every good demon lord does. Jules has come forth with even more shrines of smiting to save his city. I'm not particularly interested in this city. I'm interested in the other one, but... I mean, I'll turn this into another vassal. Why not? Tell me I won't. But you know the drill. And so do I. Let's try... I guess I'll just squeeze up here. This feels like a a squeeze together type of type of combat. This could be the last turn, depending on how crazy this gets, because Jules was pulling a lot to reinforce this. So we'll see how much he actually ends up committing. We could have two, perhaps even three. That would be a lot. Back, to back combats. But, uh, you know, they're all going to look pretty similar. Out of curiosity, do you think the fact that I can do this means Blint is technically sort of kind of a greater demon? Technically? What you gonna do? Oh, and they got more. You. 
I summon more? I can't summon more than one avatar, right? There's no way. That would be obscenely, more obscenely powerful than it already is. This deck isn't too terrifying. Um, I mean, obviously, there's the Shrine of Smitings. There's one... It's a fish. That's an Inquisitor. One Awakener. A few Tyrant Knights. Eh, this isn't too bad. He says, is the spider gets one shot. Blint might... Uh, oh, what am I joking? Blint's not gonna die. What am I on about? Blint's not gonna die. He can't die. That was a good move by the AI, though. Of course, he's Berserk, so I have no control over him. Any longer... I think this is another situation where we just kind of big chill. I have summoned for days. The AI really needs to be careful of that. And I will use them. You're already good. Where are we? This is your last summon. No, it's not. You have all three. I forgot. You're good to go. I go here. We move up. There we go. Go there. Go there. Heal up. It's not a great heal, but it is a heal. We'll take like one step forward. I know, how exciting. A single step towards war. Go there. Go there. Hanging out. Cool. Yeah. Seems good. The Anthem of Victory. I hope Blint's okay. But of course I can't control him, so. Here's the real question. Does Avatar Blint get... Yep. Okay. Great. Even if Avatar Blint dies, he has the Phoenix Ankh, so he'll just be back. Good teleport, is what I would say if he did more than just defend, but... Who am I to judge what the AI will do? 69. Nice. The Tyrant Knight figured it out, and he cracked the code. Maybe we should attack real units. Maybe you should. The Shrines are figuring it as well. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Well, I'm not numb. Now. So I can kill you. Easily. This gives us killing momentum. So I can refresh an action of anybody. This teleport's happening? This teleport's happening. Bonk. We're gonna want to refresh a big action. Like this guy. This guy seems refreshable. I should definitely cast another spell first. Like Demonic Onslaught. Can I refresh? I can. Wait, do I refresh you or do I refresh you? Ooh, now there's a spicy thought. You go here. How are we looking? Eh, it's not bad. It's not great. It'll do. I think I can death that. Death. It is the inescapable end that awaits all mortals. For the Baylor. Teleport onto the fish. Shrine? I don't even need to teleport for the shrine. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Bonk. Oh, this is a summon corrupt soul. I thought this was a um 
Okay, I don't know why you have traits. I thought this was a, um, a zealot, but no, just a weird corrupt soul that probably shouldn't exist. It does. <laughs> um, I need to do something with this Baylor though. Because I can't chaos. I mean, I could chaos brand that. That'd be funny. Then we'll just go here. And we'll get to work with everyone else. So, you're in. Oh, you resisted them all three times. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. You have one more summon if we wanted it. Puppies can take some damage, it's fine. Not a lot of damage. This is a weird ability because it does this. It, like, disjuncts everything. So never sure quite how to make the most of it. But, it's a good one to start. Really? Or not. The question is, how in do we go, you know? Are we in-in, or are we in? There's a chance this dies. Oof. Big mistake. Okay, we can smack this guy. So we can go for the bolt. The bolt of judgment. Oop. I think I hit everything on that. Now it's on fire. And then you can go for the bolt here. And whiff, of course, but that's fine. It wasn't the bolt itself. It was the fact that we got it off. You know? Death. Give me that killing momentum. Damage. That should be a dead shrine. I hope. Do you have... Okay, we can spur again. What needs to be spurred into action, into glory? I might be able to Chaos Brand this? Uh, could be close. Maybe I Chaos Brand you. Oh, yeah, that's what we do. You're going here. We're spurring the Baylor. Boom. Oh, it lived it like one. Literally one. fine. Are you immune to frost damage? Not quite, but close enough. Because you got to kill, you can do more. You froze that guy. I'm proud of you. We'll pull back. Take a shot. You're bleeding. Congratulations. And you're slowed, of course, so you can't counterattack. Take that to the dome. That's going to hurt. Yeah, it's fine. We can. Oh, you resist everything. Stop resisting everything. I can only tolerate so much resistance. Okay, how far can you guys move? Far enough. Oh. Nice. Nice. You'd think a frozen person would take more. Like, have a higher chance of being hit. That's fine. Whatever. Do what you want. I don't care. We'll go here to defend those guys. The doggo's chillin'. The Zealot's chillin'. Now that's our turn. Let's see how chaotic it was. The Elementals fall. A Fat Awaken is coming, I think. Or not. Wait, how did you get Awakeners?
These are a high culture unit, right? And jewels is a feudal culture? How? What? Who? Oh? Oh. Huh. It took over ritual cannibals. Alright. Fine, you do you. Oh, no claim momentum because he technically isn't dead. Until now. Death. It is the inescapable end. Kind of casting points. Boom. All right, I'm a mom. Thought you were someone else, but that's fine. Because he got it done. He got the job done. As did you, Brownie. All right, Mr. Baylor. GG, everybody. A glorious victory it was. Oop. Let them flee. See if any survive. There were like five of them or something. And three of them survived. Okay. This is a concern again. An impossible battle. Farewell. Yeah, because the moment the AI gets in range, they just triple charge, right? Day 104 has dawned. And out of the kindness of my heart, we've opened the way. Or our vassal. He has to clear this out, though. I'm not doing that for him. My kindness only extends so far. And unfortunately, I've opened this door for myself. But uh, there's something in the way. So... I'll deal with that later. It looks like Jules is all over the place. But... The AI has made a critical error, as it is so wont to do. If we bring this guy out. There we go. Just overwhelm him with raw numbers. Alright. As any good demon lord will do. Uh-oh. Perfect. Everyone's in range. Fantastic. We're slowly whittling down his forces. What were you doing? Was there something down here? Ah, yeah, nothing. Ah, you can still go down there. There's a waterway we can ride for a little bit. This is our defensive stack, which is just hanging out right now. That Baylor shadow was terrifying. You are heading to the monster den. The boats. Flee. They continue their quest onward. Huh. Okay. You remain in position for greatness. One turn away. One turn away. And I think that one turn away is where Amp Arrows, there it is. Finally. Is where we call it for today. Um, was I gonna turn this into another? Can I reach this? I don't know if I can. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot what I was doing here. I mean, I'll grab the mine. Money's good, right? And, I mean, I don't need the Overlord Tower right now. Let's go to the next tier. Have money. Most of that money is coming from our conflicts around the, the world. Severe. A brave sniper. A champion. Beverly's Triumph. Sirenus. Our other brave sniper. I guess, what is your army? 
Okay, fine. Accuracy's important. Just, it hurts my soul, you know? Precision used to be a no-brainer with his bonus crit rate, but now... It's kind of like, a, what's the composition of your team? Do you really want this? Good Weaver. I'm gonna take Spree Magic, though. That stuff explodes. And we're level 16, meaning I get my fourth and final signature skill. And I'll summon an undead. Blink is also pretty spicy. So let's summon undead. The remains of Jamelia Knight better have been acclaimed. Like your face glow. But the rest of it, kind of whatever. And that was our last turn. Quite a cliffhanger this time, because we are about to seize a hot field from jewels. This is your lesson to always build spell jammers, babe. And claim Dal Mastur, getting access to another golden wonder, meaning we need to find only two more. And how convenient. There's one right here. And after that, one right here. The course is set. Now let us see if we can stick to it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to stay updated in the Happy Channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And I will see you next time as we continue to get our grubby little paws on Golden Wonders. Bye!